There's a new version of Rough Animator out. Version 2.11. So I'm going to go ahead and take a look at it on today's episode of the Expat Animator. So as you can see, I'm still running version 2.09. Um, that I know there was a version 2.10 that came out like a day or two after 2.09 came out, and it was just bug fixes. So I never really installed it. Uh, but now I notice that 2.11 is out, and let's take a look at the release notes. So we've got previews render faster, and it buffers to start playing while rendering. Now this is interesting to me because I got a comment from Raf G recently saying that the dev removed rendering playback, which sounds like the opposite of what the, the uh, release notes are saying. So let's go back and take a quick look here, and I, I want to check this uh, when I get 2.11 installed. Uh, it also says smoother scrubbing, so that'll be nice. And then we've got a bunch of bug fixes here. One, two, three, four, five different bug fixes. And um, what I want to say about the bug fixes is this developer has been doing a lot of revisions for Rough Animator. And for a small app like this, I think that's great. You know, even on bigger corporations that have software, you don't see as many updates to their software as, as Rough Animator's been getting this year. Rough Animator version 2.0 came out uh, earlier last year, uh, February of 2021, according to my video that I made on it. And in this last less than a year, there's been 11 updates to Rough Animator. And even though some of those are bug fixes, we want bugs to get fixed. So I think it's great that a small developer like the one that makes Rough Animator has been doing such a great job keeping the software up to date. So with that said, you can check out the bug fixes on your own. I'm just going to go ahead and install the update because I want to check the preview rendering uh, and make sure that it's okay on my system. So it's about 10 megabytes, and I'm just going to go ahead and relaunch. And I'm going to open a project and just take a look at the old, an old walk cycle that I've got here. And let's just hit play and see how it previews. So I think that actually started up faster than normal and seems to be working for me. So um, not sure what's going on with RAF-G. Uh, maybe leave some more comments on this video and we'll see if we can figure out what's going on uh, with your system. But, you know, if I hit play, it pretty much starts instantly. And so that's pretty good because I think that's one of the things that the dev said was that they were going to do in this update. You know, and I remember on version 2.10, there was some audio issues. I could never recreate those in version 2.09, so I don't know what those were. And that's one of the main reasons I didn't even update to 2.10, uh, because I wasn't having any issues. And sometimes if it's not broke, don't fix it. But in this case, we're getting some benefits, not just bug fixes. So I would say probably a good idea to upgrade to version 2.11. But until I have some more time to play around with this and see if there's any issues that I'm having with my workflow, you know, I might hold off, um, especially if you're in the middle of a project. You know, I had made a video before about not upgrading your software mid-project. And right now I'm not in the middle of a specific animation project. So uh, it's not as risky for me to update. And I kind of wanted to look and see what the new features were for Rough Animator. So... And looking at the interface, I'm not really seeing any changes uh, that I can see visually. But if you notice uh, something different here, let me know in the comments. So I'm just going to create a new document really quick here. And so I just want to check the pressure, uh, pen pressure on this and make sure everything looks good. And let's do a couple of quick drawings here. Just something... Something real quick here where I can check the playback rate. And let's just do one make a cycle here. All right. Now let's go ahead and play that and see how fast this plays. So it uh, looks pretty good to me. I'm going to keep playing around with this and see if I have any issues, but... Uh, until then, I think version 2.11 uh, might be a good option for an upgrade if you're having issues with your rendering speeds because it seems to have sped mine up. 
And if you're having issues with it not rendering at all, like Raf G said, uh, let me know in the comments and uh, maybe that'll get fixed in the next update. So that'll do it for today. My name is Patrick Davidson. This has been another episode of the Expat Animator. Thanks for joining me and I hope to see you next time. If you found today's video helpful, you might like some of my animation classes over at Skillshare.com. I'll put the link in the description below.